Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So I say anybody can be successful. There's not a, a secret button that says this person, when they're born, is going to be successful. This person isn't. This person is. This person. Because there are a lot of things in life that can throw anybody off track. You know, uh, unsupportive family, uh, drugs get get thrown in the mix, uh, legal issues. Without even a person that comes from money can find themselves in a really bad situation. So it's not a a button that says yes, this person is going to be successful. But I think it is what we're talking about here: a mental capacity issue, a mental toughness thing. If you want it, you can have it, and you will do what it takes to become successful. And some people. Ignorance is bliss. There are some people that have become so successful simply because they didn't realize they weren't supposed to. They didn't realize, hey, coming from these projects, coming from this public housing development, coming from a broken home, coming from a drug addicted family. In their minds, they just kept working, working, working until they started asking for things that didn't seem logical and got them. You know, um, we look at a person like Master P. Come from where Master P came from, he wasn't supposed to be uber successful. This guy, I mean, coming from the projects of, of, of uh, New Orleans, he wasn't supposed to do that. But he came out, put out a few records, went out west, got married, started raising a family, kept going, kept going, finally had a meeting with a big record executive and told the people he wanted 85% distribution. He wanted 85% of his own distribution when that was unheard of in the music business. But Master P probably didn't realize I don't need to be asking for that because that's unheard of. So in that capacity, not knowing was probably the best thing that ever happened to him. He said, look, I got all the talent. They're signed to me. I want 85%. I want 85 cents on every dollar. And the record executive said, hey, we'll give it to you. And he became a multi, multi $600 million man because of it. Sometimes not knowing everything or not knowing what you're supposed to ask for, not knowing what the deal is supposed to look like plays in your favor too if you have that fire and desire to go get it man you know the story you mentioned about trump uh he actually had it in his book and i read his book and it was when i read his book i read a couple of his books and this was before you know this was when everybody liked trump when he was the playboy and he was you know this was before he changed his method of mm -hmm. recruiting people to to elect him in office uh <clears throat> And we, we talk about that one day uh, when I say change this method. Um, he knew what he was doing. So, um, but he tells the story, the book that I always laughed at. I think in the 70s when he finished college and he talks about, see, everybody, he says it just like this. I can't, not verbatim, but it was close because I was to talk about this a lot. He said that people thought that I grew up with a silver spoon in my mouth. He said, now this is in the 70s. He said, all my dad did when I graduated was give me $500,000 and just say, go on about your life. It's like, like a half a million dollars in the 70s. That's like, what, five million now, or two or three million now? And he gave me that and said, go on about your life. Like, like that was nothing. You know, like he didn't, man, that's a silver spoon, but that's funny that's how, a, <laughs> how that's he That's a silver spoon for me, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> When it comes to words, what do you think about words? How do you, how do you, I always tell people that everything you speak is an affirmation. I think a lot of us think that if we don't have a sheet of paper that says, I am the greatest, I am the best, everybody loves me and all that. And people say, well, I don't do affirmations. Well, I believe that every word come out your mouth is an affirmation. And I think a lot of us have created our life from third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade saying I ain't nothing, you know, my dad ain't nothing, you know, I'll never be nothing, I ain't gonna try to do this, it ain't gonna... those are affirmations in my mind. So those words are powerful. What do you think about words and when you speak to people, like in your, your speaking events, do you talk about that or when you're around your boys and fellas, do y'all talk about that? Without a doubt. I mean, you know, word, words are, like you said, super powerful. And, and, you know, when you're around your house, guess what? Alexa hears what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If Alexa hears it, guess what? The universe is hearing it, too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I look at people walking around the earth, I see uh, a lot of heartbeats. And heartbeats are the energy that, that make this world keep turning. 
you know, without people, the world is really a, a basic place. It needs our energy. It needs our hearts pumping. We're telling the world what we're going to do, what we want to do, what we will see happen. And you start putting out that negativity. Guess what? It starts to come back to you. And, uh, you know, people start talking about karma. It's real. So, you know, I can take, uh, well, you know what? Take a football team. You take a, a losing football program who, you know, has the right coach. And that coach comes in and motivates them and fires them up. They'll eventually start winning games. And once their skills kind of match up to their confidence, they'll start winning more games. And it's nothing more than the words that were spoken by somebody who believed in them. And that's why a coach can be, you know, someone who changes uh, a game or someone who changes the rest of your life. It's because of the words that they use and the, the words that they choose to use to build you and your and your people up. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And I think anybody that's listening, uh, please understand that, that how powerful words are. And when we say it and keep speaking it, you know, we we'll, we create with I am this and we create with I am that. And so you got to watch that. Um, you know, it helps with uh, you seeing, well, it helps not only you seeing yourself, but speaking yourself into the future and doing those things over and over and over. Now, I always ask this question and, and I like to know uh, to any, any person I'm interviewing, make sure that you like and subscribe and, and hit the all button and all that kind of stuff because we're going to have a lot of good interviews uh, on this podcast.